How you doing, good people? This is the a better animal. Okay, so today's game is an arcade port from the good folks at Data East. Um, this title was originally the arcade version was originally released by Midway, and it was wildly successful. Several different companies handled the home ports, and Data East handled the NES version. Strangely enough, there's a lot of contention on which version is better, the NES version or the Sega Master System version. Um, today's game is Rampage. Okay, so the arcade version of Rampage had three playable characters. George the Giant Gorilla, Lizzie the Giant Lizard, and... Ralph, a giant wolf. They were charged with destroying these cities. Um, and during the course of the game, your your path will literally take you across the country. Um, now, there was no real difference as far as what each character did. They were just different giant monsters that did the same thing. Climb buildings, smash buildings, kept it moving. The NES version only features George and Lizzie. Um, now, one of the things that was really cool about this game was that each level was named after an actual U.S. city. Um, and each major each major section of the game was separated by a, by a portion of the U.S. map. Um, as you progress through the game, it gets harder and harder. There are more buildings to destroy, more uh, soldiers trying to defeat you, more traps inside of the smashed portions of the buildings that you come across. And there were a lot. There are a lot of traps going into the game. Um, everything from toasters and um, toasters and pill bottles and toilets and um, when you grab and eat a fl uh, soldier carrying a flamethrower it makes you belch fire for a little while there's a little bit of everything out there to, dis to help defeat your character so this game gets pretty challenging as you progress through the game um, now the differences in the Master System and NES version are apparently the Master System feature, version featured tighter control um, and the graphics were superior. That's, you know, that's one of those things that happens when you get different versions of a game developed by different, published and handled by different companies. You get different outcomes depending on which company did what I mean we got that same situation with Tetris on the NES by itself with Tengen handling their version of the game and then Nintendo having their version of the game each version of the game has its flaws and its strengths but for the NES owner this was and someone who didn't have access to a master system early on this was my version of Rampage and it was pretty fun despite whatever flaws were there um, were there with it being a home version versus the arcade version I remember the first time I played I actually played the home version before I played the arcade version growing up and when I finally did get a chance to play the arcade version I was floored by how cool this game was in the arcades and I can un so now I can understand why it was as wildly popular as it was um because it's such a popular title Rampage can be a little difficult to track down as far as home versions go because you have again like with other titles resellers that will jack up a price regardless of the quality of that title or anything else just because it has a well-known name so buyer beware with that but it is a solid title and 
I wholeheartedly recommend the NES and Master System versions of Rampage. This has been 8-Bit Animal. I'll catch you beautiful people tomorrow.